Austin, what announcements have we got this week? So we don't have anything to the related to the podcast, but a big uh, story has happened in India. That is the CFI, the Competition Forum of India, has fined Google a huge amount, and that is because they are not giving the ability to users and uh, more freedom to manufacturers to install or uninstall Google apps. So users cannot uninstall, let's say, Maps or Play Store or anything. that google shifts with their phone and the most dangerous thing that is going to happen now is all new upcoming phones are going to come without google apps or with very ma- manufacturers are going to have the freedom if they want they can install some apps they, they want they can uh, they install none of the google apps this includes unfortunately manufacturers can ship phones without installing play store now if some other company other authorities from other companies other countries find google the same imagine what will happen to us because they might ship phones without talk back so that might be a really big danger for us now of coming and it's a, going to be a very security risk also because they won't be play store and people will install apps from anywhere and the another news from india then the podcast crew can comment on it another news from india is that coca cola is launching their own phone with the brand of realme so realme is branding uh, or launching a phone under the brand of coca cola so that is it from the india news now the crew can comment well at that the uh, that was about it caused a lot of fizz when the coca cola uh, announcement was made yeah Hey, very good. <laughs> do, do, do we think they'll do it, or will they bottle it at the last minute and not bottle? I hope they don't, yeah, because that sounds sh- delicious. Maybe they should <laughs> sell the phones in a bottle, you know. Um, like a message. But, I know you sell messages in yeah. bottles, don't you? The yeah. Police. Well, if 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 it had messages on it when you buy it, yeah, you could have a message in a bottle, and you could have, you know, you could open it and Sting start singing to you or something. <laughs> But what about the CFI news? That is a big news. So I think that what's back. going on here, though, is that yeah, I would love to be able to uninstall some stuff that I don't want. I think it should be like Windows, for example. Uh, I get a computer, and there are certain apps or programs on there that I'm not interested in, and I don't care whether they're coming from. my manufacturer you know uh, sony or whoever that manufacturer is i don't want it let me have the ability to uninstall it and i think that's what should be done instead of uh, saying hey you know it shouldn't come with a google play uh, system or whatever the problem is that you know as it is a lot of people don't care about talk back and i think that those of us who are blind uh, if you're in india and your phones don't come with talk back then it kind of sets you back instead of uh, actually pushing you forward so i'm not sure that this is something while i love the concept but yet we have to be careful uh, you know in the same whatever breath say hey you know but you have to install talk back on there or whatever but i don't know man it's it's a very kind of you know gray area here i i don't know if to celebrate or not to celebrate but um just make those things uninstallable meaning i should be able to uninstall those things i mean no, microsoft wrote the book on being hit with antitrust didn't they so, so where are, can you uninstall edge these days or not i haven't tried i don't think you can uninstall edge no no so it seems is they the CFI has gone a bit further than anyone ever went with Microsoft then because you know you'll remember Warren from the 90s that they got hit with everything over internet explorer didn't they in uh in the US but it seems like the CFI judgment has gone further in respect of Google than anyone went in respect of Microsoft if they're saying these apps have to be uninstallable it has go farther because you know um even though the um internet explorer wasn't made the center front and whatever but it's still or was still an integral part of uh the operation of windows so many things were tied to the internet explorer whether one liked it or not and so the android phone it's about 
the Play Store. And so if none of the Play Store is there or some of those uh, uh, frameworks, then I don't know. I'm just looking out for my blind people. That's the one that matters most uh, to me because I want to be able to independently uh, set up my phone on my own rather than going back to the olden days. Hey, can you please help me uh, set up or, you know, go download accessibility? And well, if they don't play uh, put in place tour there, how are you going to get it? Yeah, and but I wonder, is TalkBack seen as an app bec anymore? Because like when you switch it on now, it's in settings, isn't it? It's not like you don't open a separate app like you used to do with Railback, for example, it's it's just in the settings, isn't it? It's a system app. It's an app, so yeah, you can you can uninstall it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so but I hope this, they don't this, uninstall this Monday, that. Yeah. This Monday, the fee is that you know manufacturers could choose not to have those things, and so uh, things relating to disability, though uh, a lot of these things or a lot of the manufacturers this would be one of the ones that they will get rid of. You see phones yeah. coming from China that will have everything else but not talk back. And that's my fear. Yeah. yeah. And, and how are you going to get apps easily with, without the Play Store? How are you going to download the Play Store Very good point. without having it? Like, I, I, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, well, there are other there are other Play Stores on Android. You can you can sideload apps. There's F Droid. You can get stuff from APK Mirror. I mean, yeah, and, and if you I, just I, want an easy life and you just want Play Store, why shouldn't you have it? As long as they let you uninstall oh. it, I don't see what's wrong with it having. Well, it. But they're not saying you can't trip a phone with Play Store. Austin's just saying there's a risk. I think. Yeah, there is a the freedom. There is freedom given to manufacturers that if they want, they can ship the phone with Google Apps. If they don't want, then they can ship with without Google Apps. Yeah, and and your answer, your 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 recourse, if you do want the Play Store, is not to buy the phone that doesn't have it. You know, go buy mm -hmm. one that does. Uh, that's what that's what you do, and then manufacturers won't do it. So so I, I think Austin's pointing out a risk. He's not saying that the CFI mm -hmm. is saying oh, you can't have the phone to. with the Play yeah. Store. No, it's just it, they might decide to. It'll be interesting to see what happens because it's like unintended consequences, isn't it? I mean, since the EU data laws came in every time you go to a web page pretty much you have to accept cookies and it's very tedious and somebody didn't think that through you know um so sometimes there are these unintended consequences that there are people don't actually think through and then they realize afterwards oh whoops what have we done you know you get good in unintended consequences too. When, when when lockdown happened, our local brewery uh, had no pubs to deliver to, so the the owner brought kegs of beer to my house. Quite a good yeah. unintended consequence. Oh wow! Yeah, worked for me. I wonder whether your wonder what your, whether your liver thought so. <laughs> But well, what was really funny, we were on to my in-laws when he brought one consignment. And he said, he's got quite a loud, booming Welsh voice. And he goes, do you know you're my best customer? <laughs> and, and our in-laws are like, isn't that a bit embarrassing? I'm like, no, not really. I'm all right with this. No, it's not oh, embarrassing. Wow. That means he likes his stuff. That's all. It does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of liking wait, your Wait, how big were these food? consignments? Were they like whole barrels of beer? Oh, no, only like a few five-litre kegs, so not. That's quite a lot of beer. 